So look at some of the colors we're going to use in today's pour. So this first one right here is the base color we're going to use. This is basically like a Haynes gray, but it has like a gold shimmer to it. It was just the scrapings off of my table from a pour I did. This color right here, this is liquid text. Um, Cronacronotenta with a little bit of dioxazine purple added. This is the Liquitex Thalo Green with some Liquitex Thalo Blue added and then with some white to get to that color. This color right here is the Golden Iridescent Pearl with some deco art iridescent pearl added only because I was running low on the golden. This right here is our Liquitex Ultramarine Blue with some golden ultramarine blue added only because I was running out of the Liquitex one. This is deco art 24 karat gold. This one, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use or not, but this was just scrapings off of my table. It's like a yellowish green. It's kind of pretty, I might use it. And then I might use some of this one, which is like a Naples yellow. And those are our colors. Are you guys ready to paint? I'll see you soon, bye. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for my art. I'm Nadine and welcome back to Nadine Michelle Art. Thank you for being here. Um, if you're liking what you're seeing so far on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I make a new video. Thanks. Okay, so today I've been wanting to try this for a while and I just haven't yet because I don't want to make a mess everywhere. So I want to try um, using the spinner with my art. So these are just small canvases to practice. These are like 12 by 16 or something. Just the cheap ones, the value pack ones you get at Michael's. So here's my spinner. Let's see. It's just a cake spinner, and then I have the ceramic, the press and seal on it to protect it so I don't get paint everywhere. Um, and then I just have some double sided sticky tape on it, and it's been sticking pretty good. And I tried it out, and it didn't fly anywhere yet, so I think we're good with that. <laughs> Okay, so I already showed you the colors that we're using today. These paints have been mixed about two parts pouring medium to one part paint. My pouring medium is about 75% Floetrol to 25% GAC 800, but this is a rough estimate because I do not measure at all when I paint. I paint by feel, so I'm just just an estimate. So here's the consistency that we're working with today. So it leaves a mound, but not a very big one. And then it disappears pretty quickly. Um, a lot of these colors are just leftover colors that I'm trying to use up. So yeah. Yeah, it leaves them out, but then it disappears pretty quickly. There's a little trace, but then it goes away pretty quickly as well. So I would say that's about a two on Gina DeLuca's consistency scale, if you've ever seen that. So I do have tape on the back and I um, sprayed it with water. So this is a 12 by 16. So in order to find out how much paint you need for a canvas, you multiply the length times the width, and then you divide that by 28. In this case, it came out to be about seven ounces. 
So I'm gonna use one of these. What I wanna do is I wanna do a, um, I'm gonna do a straight pour. And then I'm going to wreck it a little with the lip of the cup. And then I wanna spin it out and <laughs> see what happens. And hopefully we don't get paint everywhere. Hopefully. Um, but for the straight pour, I want to use this cup because this cup gives it more of a landscapey type look and I kind of like it. And I want to see how that looks with wrecking it with um, the lip of a plastic cup. Because I'm always too afraid to wreck my straight pours. I don't usually do that. And I want to see how it looks now that I'm just using a little canvas and testing this spinner out. So that's what we're gonna do. So here's my cup. I'm going to put some of the base slash background color in the bottom. Um, I'm not going to fill this cup all the way because I only need like three quarters of the way of it full or so. So I think I'm going to dirty pour them. Just where I pour it in the center from up high. Okay, and that was, that is the ultramarine blue. Next I'm going to do the iridescent pearl. Okay, I'm up high again. And then this next one is the magenta and dioxazine purple mix. color. Next is going to be just a little bit of this greenish yellow color that I scraped off my table. And then some gold. Not too much though because it tends to take over. And then we're going to just do that again, but small layers because I don't want to fill this cup up all the way because otherwise it'll be too much paint. I'm too scared to do this on a nicer canvas when I'm too straight for it. So here we go. 
Just gonna take the lip of the cup and do some swirls through it. Now we're going to spin carefully and try not to get it all over. Just gonna do it slow to start. I've never done this. I'm worried it's gonna go like flying off. different and put a base coat on first this time. I'm going to use the rest of this. I had extra. So I'm going to use this up and then I'll do the rest of those colors. Because I mean you're not going to see it anyway. Might as well use it. Okay. This is our regular blue. <laughs> This is the greenish yellow table scrapings color. And then gold, 24 karat gold. And then we're going to repeat that and fill it up to the top. like so. Let's hope I can do this now that I'm telling you how to. Ready? One, two, and three. Not too bad. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a bit because I don't have a pen in it so we have to let like the air release and everything. And I'm gonna release the paint and I'm gonna wreck it with the lip of the cup again. And then we're gonna spin it out and see what happens. See if we like it or not. And if I do like it, probably gonna do this on a bigger canvas at some point. So yeah, I always do testers for something new I'm doing. Okay, so ready? One, two, and really pretty. Starting to go this way, so I'm just kind of scooting it over a little. Alright, so actually a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna wreck it a little with the lip of our cup. Again. to the center on its own. 
I'll give it a minute. In the meantime, I see some air bubbles. I'm gonna torch them out. Cool, actually. All right, so I'm gonna spin. Um, I don't know, just gonna see what happens. It's another experiment, so here we go. Oops, and we're gonna move the cups out of the way so we don't hit those. All right, and spin a little faster. Just worry the canvas is gonna go flying or something. or something underneath so that when this gets wet it'll always stick to that other base under there but other than that not too shabby I didn't get paint everywhere so that's good um my thing is I use too much paint but it's hard for me to paint on smaller canvases honestly it's a lot easier for me to paint on a bigger scale than a smaller scale but it's okay got all leftover colors mostly and I still have more um but yeah I think I'm gonna have to try this on a bigger canvas once I get some more Now I'm just touching up the edges, getting the drips underneath as best I can. And then I'm going to set this on some um, paint uh, stand things. I forget where I got them from, but it's like a fluid art store kind of thing. They make different tools for fluid art stuff. Um, I'll have to put this door down below because I can't remember what it's called right now. It's on Etsy. Only other thing is I just have to work on how fast it's spinning because it was either going too slow where it wasn't moving or too fast where the canvas almost came off. But not quite. I got it. <laughs> um, yeah. I really like it. I really like wrecking like the straight pour like that. I've never done that before because I don't like to wreck stuff a lot. But I really like it actually. I could probably change about it. Got everything. Alright, I'm gonna get my edges. And then oh my one for a close up for both of these. And you guys can let me know what you think. And I'm probably going to try this out more with a bigger canvas. And, yeah. That's my experiment for the night. My first time using the spinner. Nothing went wrong too bad. <laughs> yeah, I really like how these came out. And I have to try this again. Okay. I'm going to clean up and then I'll take you in for a close-up for on both of these. Okay, so here they are. Um, here these both are. Okay, so here's this first one. This was the straight pour we did and then we wrapped it with um, the lip of a cup and then we spun it out on the spinner. Um, I really like how this 
came out I'm gonna have to try this on a bigger scale for sure um, really like the center right there But I really like the center of this one. It's really cool. I'm gonna have to do this again for sure. But here's the close up. So you have this edge. And going up. I mean, look at all those cells. Like, it's crazy. And they're big ones, not just little tiny ones either. I'm definitely going to try this again. I love this center. Okay, there's that one. Okay, and here's the second one. This was the flip cup with the lips to wreck it, and then we spun it. This one is really cool, too. Take you in. This is my favorite part. I love that. I'm gonna go over this way. Yeah, it's really cool. I really like it. I'm gonna be trying this more on a larger scale. So keep watching for that. And I have a couple ideas of something I want to do now with the spinner. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I will, um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. And thanks for watching Nadine Michelle Art. Have a good day.